Hi guys, it's Daniel Miss Roadshow Medium, and today I want to talk to you about um, legacy. And a lot of time that gets confused with thinking, what am I leaving behind in you know financial terms? But I want to want you to think about legacy in terms of what are you leaving behind for your loved ones, your friends, and your family in terms of your image. And that sounds a little bit strange to say your image, and but what I'm but what I mean by that is we all remember we remember certain things from loved ones that have passed I mean it could be oh, I remember drunk uncle so and so he'd always blah 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 I remember um, my granny she used to make the best biscuits everyone has a legacy that they leave behind whether it's a good one or a bad one and this is what I'm going to talk to you about you have a choice to decide what your legacy is going to be what are you what do you want to be remembered by and not just financial because financial goes out the way if you leave your kids a stack load of money they're gonna be like whoa money and when the money's dried up they're not gonna be like oh okay so we're not talking financial we're talking about lessons life lessons beliefs um ethics um foundations of good structure what are you what is your legacy that you want to leave behind to your loved one what is it that you want to them to remember you by do you want them to remember you by as somebody that was always determined always stood by their beliefs somebody that knew that by doing the hard work you can achieve greatness or you know like being a marathon runner leaving behind the legacy that if you train hard you can achieve what you thought was impossible and this is why you know I find that a lot of times I've seen parents where they've let their dream go and they're like oh I'll do it when the kids are older or not now maybe next year or year two what is the legacy you're leaving behind what are you showing your kids you're showing them that it, that it's okay to actually not dream not believe even though you turn around and say to them oh you've got to believe in your dreams dream as big as the stars but you're not doing the same and you know it sounds crazy it's like oh but I'm telling them kids follow your example they are your mini me what you do is what they do and what you do is the patterns that's going to repeat down the generation line so I want you to think about that legacy what is it that you are leaving behind for your kids um, and not just your kids your family members your brothers your sisters what are you showing them because they will learn from that and they will they will absorb it especially when they see greatness where they see you did not let adversity get you down that is one of the best um biggest lessons i've seen that for people to take home from is adversity i've got a re i've got somebody that i i am so honored to call her my friend and she is a tetraplegic and I think it's about 15 years ago now she was in a freak accident and she lost she's lost mobility and you know what through adversity she came out the other side and she could have just gone you know what this is my life I am just done with it and basically just for the rest of the day has been um, waited on hand and foot by other people but it said no she rose up above that and she has got a level of independence that most people that were in her situation do not have because she le she chose to have a legacy of determination to show that this is possible you do not need to let things that happen define you and she's got a little girl and her daughter is seeing the legacy of doesn't matter if you're disabled doesn't matter if you're able-bodied if you dream it and if you want it you can achieve it she's also you know and there's so many lessons to learn from that you can what you want in life is yours and this oh, I you know I I can't stress enough this legacy that people forget and I honestly say forget because I had a talk with a client a few days ago and she was I will say this a little bit wishy-washy about oh maybe I'll do this in my business maybe I won't and I said to her 
how old are your kids and they're really young and I said what do you think you're showing them you're showing them that it's okay to let fear take over your life it's okay to not push and strive and we can't do that we need to be the example that the next generation sees that they see that you know what anything is possible and it yes sometimes it may be difficult it may be tough but you know what there's a reward at the end of it and it may be that they learn that while they're doing their maths homework that they don't want to do that yes it's tough while you're doing it but guess what the reward is so sweet at the end of it where you can stand back and go you know what <gasps> I'm actually proud of what I have achieved and where I've come and not look back and say you know I wish two years ago I had started that business because now someone else has done it or I wish two years ago I had you know taken the initiative and asked my boss for that promotion or how I can step up in the business um, with with that and there's so many times where I've just explained what is the your overriding description going to be are you gonna be one that's determined or you're gonna be somebody that life got the better of you I know it's a little bit of a heavy conversation for today but you know what it's something that needs to be had or something that needs to be said and with that <laughs> I'm gonna leave you guys with that note and I just want you to think about what is your legacy do you what do you want to leave behind so I can't stress that point enough so have a think about it and I'll catch you guys next time bye